Hello students, I am very glad to meet you in this class. Hope you are all able to imagine and experience the poem the way the poet has intended it to be in the previous class. Today we are going to know about the various poetic devices. Literary device is known as figure of speech. When they are used in a poem, they are known as poetic devices. Figure of speech is a way of expressing or narrating or saying something. It is used by the poets in a poem, by writers in stories and speech. There are various poetic devices we can see in the poem. They are simile, metaphor, personification, alliteration, repetition, imagery, assonance, onomatopoeia and rhymes. There are five figures of speech used in the poem. First of all, we will see personification. Personification is investing non-living things with human qualities. We can see it from the poem line. My little horse must think it queer. Here, my little horse is imagined as a human being. Secondly, alliteration. It is the repetition of the initial consonant sounds in a single line. For example, the line, the woods are lovely, dark and deep. Here, the consonant D is repeated. Thirdly, repetition. Repetition is a word, a phrase or a full sentence being repeated. In the fourth stanza, we can see it. And miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. Here, each word in the line is repeated. Fourthly, imagery. Imagery is used to make the readers feel things through their five senses. Here, we can see two imageries. First one, visual imagery. The woods are lovely, dark and deep. Second one, auditory imagery. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. In the end, I will teach you to find out the rhyming scheme and rhyming words. Rhyming words are the words that ends with the same sound. For example, in the first stanza, the first line ends with the word no. The second line ends with the word though. No and though has the same sound. So these are called as rhyming words. Now I will teach how to find the rhyme scheme in lines of a poem. We start by looking the last word of each lines of the poem. In the first answer's first line, the last word is no. We name it A. Likewise, the last word of second line is though, which rhymes with the previous word no. No, though. So, we name it as A again. Similarly, we check for the last word of the third line which is here. Here does not rhyme with though or no. So we name it as B. Also for the fourth line which ends with snow, we see that it rhymes with no and though. No, though, snow. Hence we name it as A. So, the rhyme scheme of the first stanza is A-A-B-A. Thank you students. We will meet again in the next class. Stay home. Stay safe children.